Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of Lifeless Planet. This is the first game where I actually have not ever played any bit of it before. I really know nothing about this game other than it looks really interesting. Uh, right now it's still in early access, although the reviews on it for the reviews on it in Steam were really good and uh, uh, they didn't give anything away which I like. So let's see how it goes. Judging by this, though, I do know something that has something to do with Soviets, and these power lines on a new planet are kind of suspicious. And with that, let's go. Actually, a little thing, I guess it's not early access. It does say beta on the top. That's kind of cool. There's some tracks, so that's what I'm going to go off of. This planet doesn't look like it holds much life. New objective. Crap. An oxygen leak. Find an oxygen supply before you pass out. Uh, that might be a problem. Well, I can zoom in and out. I found oh, something just sparked out in the distance. Oh, with every breath, it's going down a little bit. Well, keep going, guy. Keep going. We got this. Get there. Get there. Come on, you got it. hours. Dang. And why is there oxygen out in the middle? Okay. Where are we going now, by the way? Oh, I don't know. Calming down music. Spy vehicles will be sent to the I understand that even at twice the speed of light, your journey will take 15 years. That's right. We'll be traveling so fast, our spacecraft will arrive at the planet before the transmission of this interview does. But it's still such a long trip. We'll be put into a sort of coma. Our heart rate will be slowed dramatically to minimize aging during the flight. How do you prepare for this one-way mission, knowing you will never return to Earth? Well, I have a volunteer crew of very skilled and focused individuals. We all have a deep desire to explore, to go somewhere new. And frankly, we also have a few attachments here on Earth. Okay. So they're never, they were never supposed to come back to Earth. What was their mission exactly, though? What were they trying to accomplish from this? We already know they were lied to. Uh, to guess now or try to figure it out would be making something out of nothing. Alright. I'm 
following this little trail in case you're wondering. It's like a little white trail against the sand. That looks kind of creepy. That looks kind of creepy. I was going to say creeper. It looks like a reaper. Which rhymes with creeper. This is what happens when you try to play games at night. It's got a lot of stuff going on here in the planet. I mean, not life-wise, but you can tell. I mean, craters form. Uh, what am I thinking? I don't know enough to guess, and if I guess and got it wrong, I'd sound like an idiot. Pretty interesting. So, is that water? Oh crap! It is water. There could very easily be life on this planet out there in the water. In fact, what is that right there? What is that crap? That's some kind of plant or something. Oh, point for it. Okay, yes. At least my jetpack works. Well, mostly. Jetpack motion. Everything about this mission is a disaster so far. The lander took a beating with it, most of the equipment. My suit is functional, but barely. The jetpack can still put out a single burst, which is useful for short jumps. I find I get the most distance when I trigger the burst at the top of my jumps. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? In terms of what the screen looks like, I mean, like, it's kind of blank. Oh, you have to double tap. I can hold it down. I mean, like, all it says is beta at the top. That's it. If I can get this done, that would be great. It's kind of hard, actually, to tell where he jumps. It's really not easy. Because he jumps, like, ridiculously far. Like, the trajectory that it would be on Earth would be like, I couldn't even make it from here, and then he goes like halfway across it. Yeah, see. It's pretty hard, actually. Why are there no signs of life on this planet? In the meantime, I can understand the planet is barren and lifeless. Our remote observations were conclusive. This planet was rich with life, so where did it all go? Maybe we just dropped in the wrong spot, but my... But initial, feel, initial readings aren't coming up with any trace of biological activity, except for that one weird thing in the cave over there, which apparently we're forgetting about, or choosing to forget about. Anyways, left or right, making these big decisions already. God dang it. There we go. Can we even get up there? Possibly. Nope. I need to get up there somehow. I'm working on it. Jeez. We're not even that far in the game and this guy's already complaining. You have air and you have a jetpack so you can shut up now. Now you're alive for a little bit. If I were him, I'd be scared to go away from the air thing. Primary mouse button or joystick. Uh, there is no joystick, I guarantee you, on my mouse. It's kind of weird that it told me that. This X too. Maybe like the X key. Nope. They literally need to just click and tap. up the graphics a little bit. Please don't tell me I have to restart if I want to do that either. That makes me really mad. Oh, you have to do it before you play the game. Uh, before I played the game, it just said fast, fast, faster. Yeah, like, for the graphics, there weren't any, like... You could tell it's just... 
just temporary the way he set it up. But anyways, this works, so I'm not going to complain. It's not too bad. But this is not, in case you're wondering about, like, the graphics of the game, this is definitely not as high as it can go. This is actually as low as it can go. going on here looks like there's a town on this planet shouldn't assume things are lifeless when you've only been here for like what 10 minutes I don't have my timer running that might be a bad guess That's a really nice touch. Of course, they probably just tampered with the meters. I bet I could take off my helmet right now. Is that what this is? A test to see how long it takes for it takes us to break protocol? I'm not some rocket jockey kid playing at being an astronaut. What in the world is the point of all this, and where did they take my crew? Need to stay calm. My head is spinning from the crash. Probably need a doctor. I bet they think that's funny too. So he's speculating at random, no, oh, I don't want to go back there. Speculating at random what the heck is going on, which, if you saw this on a planet where you thought it was lifeless, you probably would too. So he's not completely wrong in taking guesses there. every 10 minutes and then you cut me off the one time I tried to talk. Uh, I guess we're just passing through the town. Oh, it's late. Maybe that trackway will 
lead me to my crew. Well, I'm not following it for fun. Let me answer this text. I'm just going to pause the video. And we're back. Can't leave the girlfriend without a text message for too long. Don't want her to get worried. Alright, what is going on? What in the hell? There's, there's shit over here, there's shit over there. Ah, uh, whatever, we're already closer to this one. Uh, what is this? First half of code for access to Southern Laboratory, 331. In keeping with security protocol, this portion of the security code must be kept separate from the other half of the code, auto-translated from Russian. We did see a sickle and star on the book back there, so I guess that makes it. What the heck? What is this building? They just build that extra part for looks? Nothing happens if I click or anything. Only this from the spacebar. This is actually probably really a much faster way to move. Hopping in games is generally quicker. You're low on oxygen. Find oxygen supply before you pass out. Okay, so that is our next. These graves one. seem pretty makeshift. Discovered a collection of ancient graves outside the town. Whatever and wherever this place is, it seems things can end well for the inhabitants. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, where is it? Oh crap. We are so screwed. Come on, I really looked for oxygen tags. I didn't see any. not so bad. What's this thing? Things I miss. Life has gotten very hard here. I want to go home so much. My brother said I should make a list of things I miss about home. I smile when I think about these things. Hopefully we'll be able to go back very soon. Things I miss from home. Blah 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 blah. Let's get it. Правительство Запада расценивает наши намерения как агрессивные, 
Они не признают наш суверенитет, суверенитет Советского Союза. Но за нами стоит так много побед. Мы дали отпор германской агрессии, стали могущественной державой и доблестно боролись за распространение коммунистических идеалов среди других порабощенных народов. Но то, что мы совершим здесь, позволит стране Совета вырваться далеко вперед и поставить нас Russians, but that long of a language is so hard to understand. Uh, you know how I feel. Have you ever heard someone speak a language you don't understand? It just goes on and on and on and on and on. And you still don't understand. <laughs> Southern laboratory, so there's multiple laboratories. In keeping with security protocol, this portion of the security code must be kept separate from the rest of the
seriously. Gotta sit in the front too. What did I? Oh. Hey, get out of my seat, buddy. Three months ago, it was supposed to be a room in the closet. Maybe it's a mistake, and they won't be able to get out. Конечно, на самом деле, я всего лишь замер себя в своем собственном склепе. Я понимаю, что мой конец близок. Последние два дня сигналы со старых постов приходили все реже и реже. Вот уже несколько часов, как больше вообще не встречали. Я примирился. В смысле, окончание. Как бы мне хотелось, чтобы, встречая ее, я не был бы... Задача очень сложная, но мы ее разрешим. Мы должны ее разрешить. What in the hell? God damn it. 
I don't even know anymore. Amazing, with each test we run, your samples appear more promising. I will log more details later. There simply isn't time right now. Patient 23. So they encountered some kind of virus. Trying to find a cure. Yep, that's what I said. Great. I think my mind is playing tricks on me. My mind is playing tricks on me. I thought for a moment I was back on Earth. After the hallucination passed, I found a human trackway leading out of the underground. Oh, that's what that was. So, oh damn. Footprints are low green for, for reasons I can't explain. I can take some samples, but I haven't had the warm in the background. That's distracting. The footprints seem to lead out of the facility, so now I'm going to follow them with caution. It's like heavy winds. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to go back there. Let's not run into the van. Fans. Oh crap, that one's even worse. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, no fan. Physics, physics. Sets now? Where the hell is this coming from? Looks like they were trying to mine this stuff. No 
but is it radioactive? Located abandoned miners' operation, the rocks here appear to share the same phosphor phosphorescent properties of the human footprints of following. I suspect there's some radiation involved here. Not sure if they're releasing to the following the green footprints of this thing. Probably not if they're glowing. That's usually a sign of major radiation. Hang on, let me respond to another text. And we'll back to this. I really want to check one soon because I kind of don't want to go to bed. Not going to lie, I'm pretty tired. I'm not going to read all that. Come back here. God. <sighs> oh, you better give me a checkpoint, you SOB. You better give me a damn checkpoint. Oh. Oh, don't make me go back there. Don't make me go back there. Encountered a glitch. Yeah, we've encountered a glitch, alright. Well, I guess that concludes this episode. This is episode one of Life Plus Planet. Again, I am Rob Spectre, and if you like this, please subscribe for more, more videos of this and whatever games I think are cool that I want to play. Because I'm kind of done playing games I've already played. They may be interesting, but they're not that fun. Not fun to play many times again. And uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.